Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brent. And we are the, the Wall Twins. Twins. If this is your first time here with us, though, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything we do no matter where we're doing it. Today, we're in the Backyard Diner. Yet again, I've called it, I've dubbed it Poolville. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the mayor of Poolville. Yep, Poolville. I'm really happy that I'm finally getting a chance to do this. And this one comes by way of two of my new students. Yep. Where I teach, Jakari and Dalton. Shout out to you. I did a little questionnaire getting to know my students a little bit better. And in different classes, mm -hmm. they've each mentioned lemon pepper chicken. Yes. Is it's their favorite Yes, or meal. something they absolutely love to cook, make, or eat. And cook, we're, make, or eat. You got it. Yep. Any and or all of the above. And here we are. And here we are. You, you can't, can't make this stuff up. up. <laughs> You'll thank us later. The <laughs> quintessential <laughs> lemon pepper chicken cook. But we are happy to come and try this one. I love lemon pepper chicken. I'm not going to lie. It's been 20 years since I've had lemon okay. pepper chicken. I've gotten it in Publix in the rotisserie. Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's got a unique flavor profile. Love the lemon. Now with this one, we, were, we weren't sure if we were going to do rice or noodles, so we uh -huh. opted for neither. Yeah. We, we said, you know what? We can't decide on one. Let's go asparagus. No. We're going to keep this nice, clean eats today. Brett makes an incredible uh, garlic parm asparagus. We thought this would be perfect for this one. And yep. perfect timing for the neighbor to also get going on the weed eating. Thanks, Jack. Hey, got to do what he's got to do Jack. what he's got to do. <laughs> he's got to do it. But we're here for it. I don't know if we're here for that. But uh, we want to get get on this one. But Brett, before we do, let's get to the groceries. One way to get him to stop is make him food and invite him over. There That's we go. We'll do. <laughs> so, all right, here we go for the groceries. Right there is the chicken breast. We got the cutlets and we have hammered them down paper thin. We're gonna be using the shredded parm for the asparagus. We got this little bit of lemon juice, some butter. Here's the lemon pepper seasoning we're using from Lowry's. We've got the uh, chunky garlic paste, which we'll be using for the asparagus as well. We got some chicken broth, our flour seasoning, and some parsley for garnish. And not pictured is salt and pepper. They will be in effect at some point That's in the right. show. Actually for the chicken a little bit before, and then throughout just for flavoring as needed. It is lemon pepper chicken, so we will be using some of the cracked pepper in that one. But Brett, anything else to add or should we just get to the cook? Let's get it. No, let's talk more. No, um, the griddle okay. is fired up. That's so right. we got a hot <laughs> griddle, hot griddle. Get them while it's hot. Brett, yes. we do have our very first cookbook, cookbook coming yes. out this January, January 2023. Yes. And we are so excited. The Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook. It will be the first, hopefully, of many to come. Yes. But it is available right now at Amazon.com for pre-order. Pre We're yes. so excited and we would love for you to check it out. There's information about it in the description below this video. Please make sure and check it out. This is not even a shameless plug. We are proud of this one. Oh, so, so happy. Proud. We have been working yep. our... Uh, countless hours to get this done and we are so proud and honored to finally announce our first griddle cookbook is it is available on amazon.com for pre-order so again check that out yeah in fact if you uh, do put your order in now you'll have guaranteed delivery when it is available yep absolutely got some of the parsley flakes on this but that's okay it's not going to hurt anything so what we did is i've got three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and i have a tablespoon and a half of lemon pepper chicken seasoning or lemon pepper seasoning that is the Lowry's. Brett and I are working on developing our own, but until then, we'll use that. And so the idea is to just sprinkle this on each of these, we'll top and bottom, and we'll rub it in. And then this, look, this is gonna help us kind of fry it out. I can already smell that lemon, so good. So basically all we're gonna do is just make sure we're covering this. I mean, it's not gonna be completely, it's not like a full uh, dredge, right? So we're just sprinkling it on and then we'll rub it in. There we go, get the other side. Look at that, just lift it up and get the other side. There we go. We're just trying to get this lightly coated because ultimately we will, we will be tossing this in a sauce. So that's why I'm not worried about as much coverage as this have. But anyways, all right, so let's finish this and then we'll get it over to the griddle. <laughs> all right, I was calling the scraper the cutter. So I'm gonna take two tablespoons of butter here. Oops, <laughs> that's supposed to be in the skillet. There we go. And once that gets going, see Brett, this is already cranked. I'm gonna bring this heat down because we don't want anything to burn. So Brett, you may need to man the sauce here. So we're doing about two cloves of minced garlic. I put a little extra. So we're gonna let this saute for about a minute with that. Oh man, that's great. While that's going, I'm gonna get some oil on the griddle. Now we normally keep our oil in squirt bottles. I'm gonna add just a couple of teaspoons, uh, tablespoons rather, of oil. And this is to actually fry up the chicken in. So see, that's already sizzling, already ready to go. So this is not gonna take long at all. 
to cook up. So Brett, I don't think this is gonna take four or five minutes per side. I think it's gonna take two or three. Five minutes, I got like 10 minutes for these thin pieces. Right, okay, so this, Brett, if you'll go ahead, if you will go ahead and add the chicken broth into here. More than anything in my entire life. <laughs> it does not make sense when you say that. <laughs> it doesn't have to. It doesn't, that's, hey, truer words have never been spoken. All right, so this is actually working out really well. In fact, I'm gonna get this last piece of chicken on here. And I did go ahead and just sprinkle a little bit of salt on each of these before I put them on. Okay, and so Brett, you can just let that simmer and go down. In fact, you know what, let's put the lemon in right now. We've got two teaspoons of salt, or excuse me, lemon, lemon juice. juice. Lemon juice and salt, they go hand in hand. All right, and Brett, go ahead and put a little bit of that cracked pepper in there as well. Pepper's here in effect. <laughs> Working up a sweat. Like Boba Fett. Okay, so we're just gonna let that brown up, cook up. Okay, so the thing is, this is boiling. We're gonna bring it down just a little bit and let that simmer. In fact, let me stir that up. So let those flavors just marry and simmer for a little bit. These just need a little bit more time. I went ahead and pulled the heat up. We're trying to get a nice golden brown on these and then we'll flip them. We'll be so good to go. Of this is ready to go. It's been about four minutes. So we're gonna start flipping. Look at that, look at that. <laughs> Look at that, Brett, we just had it in the cool spot. That was the problem. That's it, man. All right, that one, let's leave just a little bit longer. Same with these ones. Yep, just a little bit longer. All right, let's give that one a flip. Look at that. I bet this one's the edges are gonna be a little bit more. Okay, that's good. And finally, our last little fella here. Ooh, that is hot. Typically what we would do is we would pull the chicken off to the side and let it rest while the sauce is finishing up, but the sauce cooked really fast, which I yep. told Brett it would. So we did, I thought, well normally it takes a while, the broth was already hot when we put in, so that obviously helped bring it up to temperature. Right. too, but. So yeah. I'm actually going to just pull the chicken right in right now, so we can get it cooking in that sauce. So right we don't, in, right now. <laughs> so we don't overcook the chicken, and uh, we can get the sauce and get these flavors married, and uh, we'll test it, yep. and then and we'll then go I'm from there. And I'm gonna the asparagus. That's right, so that one, look at that. So that one's going right in. Getting all the kids in the pool. That's right. Let's just get these last pieces of chicken in. What say you? Yep. And the last of the gunky gunks. Sauce has thickened up and these are good to go, Brett. These are, I'm gonna pull this in just a minute, let it just keep simmering in the sauce. We got it all the way down to low. So we'll slow the cooking process, but just let these flavors marry. All right, we get the butter, and then Brett, did you cut down the asparagus already? Yeah, so I snapped off all the bottom uh, parts, uh, about the bottom two inches off. Yep, to cook the asparagus, some people like it uh, uh, softer. I like mine somewhat al dente. So you and get a little bite on so it. Yeah, so it has a little bit of crispiness. Um, I, I have tended to overcook it from time to time. I don't mind, the flavor is so good. Now, I normally use lime juice when I cook my asparagus, but because of this dish, we're gonna do lemon, so I'm excited to see how that turns out. This, look at this sauce just thickened up. Ken, can you see this? It's all been absorbed into the chicken. The chicken is cooked. All right, look how green that asparagus is. I love that coloring. Looks so nice, so nice Brett's just sprinkling. I just love that, and that is gonna melt. And now what I'm gonna do. All right, should be nice and melty. Oh, and it is. I'm coming in at last step, hitting it with this lemon juice. And a little salt too. A little salt. All right, and now I think we're ready to pull that and uh, get a little B-roll. Let's do this. Well, there it is in, in all its glory. All of its glory. And this smells unbelievable. It, it smells amazing. Now, I will say, uh, I should have pulled the chicken a little bit earlier. We got the golden brown, should have put it because I didn't want it to overcook. I'm worried that it got, that was on there for a little bit long, but we did go ahead and pull it. It's so, 
otherwise, it's still gonna be fine. Yes. The flavors are there, and the asparagus looks spectacular. Yes, I love doing it this way. It is absolute. Well, I'm, I'm excited to see how it is with the lemon. Normally, I do there it with lime juice, so. But like we say, it can look amazing. This looks amazing. I would order it at a restaurant. Right, like we say, it can smell amazing. Did we mention that? Can I get a smell yet? Uh, smell, yeah, you can. But right. if this doesn't taste amazing, then this was all, all for, for naught. And cheers, I'll eat to that, my brother. Okay, nope, no, no it's not no. overcooked. All right, it is cooked to absolute perfection. This mm, is a lemon gravy. That, yes, what a great way to describe it. This is, oh it's, my. It, I mean, the sour Hold from the lemon's there, minute, but it's Kenzie. not overpowering at all. Kenzie's wanting it really bad. Let me just, take, mm. I got to taste the asparagus. I'm just grabbing one. Look at that, mm. I got all the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that, just as good with the lemon. It's so good. What a perfect pairing. Yeah, that is a great. I mean, this meal right here, by the way, is gonna be- $17.95 on the Walt Wings food truck. <laughs> but if you come on a Tuesday, <laughs> it's two for Tuesday <laughs> for twins. Um, you no. have two of them for $35. Yeah. So. <laughs> this is so good. This is uh, actually uh, more of a healthier option. Absolutely. It's uh, keto friendly, there's uh, carb free. So uh, yeah, and this... the calor calories don't count at right. our place. <laughs> right. So for sure, if you are looking for a healthier option, that's a great point. Even, you know, if you have a little side rice or a little bit of noodles, you're gonna add a few more carbs, but otherwise, this with the asparagus, yeah. I would do it just like this. This yep. is, I'm seriously, total mood changer. Yep, 100%, this is good mood food, and I'm glad we did it. So and thank you to uh, Dalton and- Dalton and Jakari. Thank you for mentioning this one. That is the reason we did this one, so yep. gotta get a shout out for that one. So happy we came and did this. Yes. If you like this, if this gave you one more idea of something that you could do on your griddle, make sure to give this a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is through our merchandise. There's a link to that in the description below this video. So Brett, I don't know, man. This was absolutely uh, spectacular. Absolute it was a banger. banger. In fact, here's the deal. They're gone. Kenzie yeah, already I took know. the plates inside so everybody else could have it. And I'm just wondering if they're, yeah, I, I need some of that. So I need some I. lemon I need gravy some and I need life. some asparagus. Yes, I would drink the gravy. <laughs> I would too. And here's the deal. I am so glad I went ahead and doubled the recipe that I Me found. Me too. Because I just want it to kind of simmer in that in that sauce. I'm used to just having something a little bit more like a crispy lemon uh -huh. pepper chicken. Yep. This, I appreciate actually having it in that gravy. I'm calling it the gravy, I don't care. Yeah. Aside from coming to make this banger, this epic, recommendation by Dalton and Jakari, even though it wasn't a real met recommendation, but uh, inspired by yes, Jakari and Dalton. Why else are we doing this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.